Good evening and welcome to the school board meeting for Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. If everybody could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mrs. Yessie? Here. Mrs. McCarthy? Here. Mrs. Taxon? Here. Mrs. Tamira? Here. Mr. Vaca? Here. Finalization of the agenda. Is there anything to add in? Now the agenda is final as presented. Okay. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the written summary of the regular minutes for the meetings on February 2nd, 2021 and February 16th, 2021. Move. Second. Move by Ms. McCarthy, second by Ms. Yetzi. Roll call, please. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Yetzi? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mira? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. We'll move on into the superintendent's report. Excellent. So we are excited to recognize our incredible students of the month for March. And these are students who demonstrate our Ranger Strong qualities. And we will begin with Mrs. Vance from ECLC. Thank you so much. Um, I see both of my students are on, so this is exciting tonight. Um, I have the pleasure of first introducing um, Juliana Patterson. And um, Juliana, can you wave? So good to see you tonight. Um, Juliana is in Mrs. Dietz's um, pre-K classroom, and she is um, online with Mrs. Dietz. And Mrs. Dietz says, that Juliana has been a student in her preschool classroom spanning over three years. So she's had the privilege of watching her grow. And she says that she's worked so hard to make amazing progress over the years. She's found her voice and is using it to communicate in our online pr preschool community um, cal daily calendar and to share her thoughts and share and tell about her stuffed animal collection and share all that she's learning. Juliana will make an excellent addition to the kindergarten classroom next fall. Her excitement to be in school and her smile each day is like a rain of sunshine over Zoom. Congratulations, Juliana, on, on both your hard work and upcoming transition to a big kid's school next year. So congratulations, Juliana. And our next student of the month is Haley Savnick. And Haley, I saw you on here too, can you wave? And Haley is in Miss Morris's um, <clears throat> kindergarten classroom. She's in our hybrid classroom. And Miss Morris says that Haley has been a great addition to the classroom. She is super happy to be at school with her peers and she's always excited to learn and try new things. She does her best each day. So congratulations to Haley. And next I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Heffron at Liberty. Hello everyone, it is my pleasure to introduce our first and second grade student of the month here at Liberty. Our first student of the month is Elena Hovana, and Elena was nominated by Mrs. Aaron Bogus. And here's what Mrs. Bogus has to say. Elena works hard every day. It doesn't matter if it's in person or on Zoom. She also brings so much joy to our classroom. She is always willing to help her classmates out when they are having a hard time. Sometimes she logs into Zoom early just to see how my day is going and to talk to, talk to me for a little bit. I'm very lucky to have her in my class this year. Awesome job, Alina. Our next student of the month is Colton Hammer. And Colton was nominated by Mrs. Steele. And here's what Mrs. Steele has to say. Colton is always happy to help and work with his, to, is always willing to help and work with his peers and teachers. Above all, one of my favorite things about Colton is his sense of humor and how he takes on new challenges. Keep up the awesome work, Colton. Great job, guys. And it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Greg Plantner from 3-4. 
Good evening, everybody. As always, it is a pleasure to be here to recognize our students of the month. I am very excited to introduce our first student of the month, James Herman. James is a third grader and he is in Mrs. Burkhart's homeroom. This is what Mrs. Burkhart has to say about James. James has shown he is ranger strong this year by setting goals and working hard toward achieving them. At the beginning of the school year, James helped create two behavior goals to work on for this school year. He recognized what motivated him and worked with us to create a reward system that he knew would work for him. It has not been easy to accomplish these goals, but James has never given up. Even when he had days where he struggled to remain focused, James always showed up the next day ready to try his best again. Through his hard work, positive attitude, and perseverance, James met his original behavior goals and is now challenging himself to do even better. We are so proud of James and his accomplishments this year. Thank you, James, for being a role model in how to be Ranger Strong when working toward goals. We can't wait to see what you accomplish next year as you continue your hard work. Congratulations, James. Well done. Our next student of the month from fourth grade is Emily Church. Emily is a student in Ms. Clem's homeroom. This is what Ms. Clem has to say about Emily. Emily was chosen as our March student of the month for exhibiting many qualities it takes to be Ranger Strong. She is a delight to have in class and is always striving to reach her goals. Emily always arrives to class on time with a smile on her face. During class, I can always rely on Emily to participate, and even after instruction, she asks if there's anything else she can do to help. On top of participation, Emily is always focused and ahead on her work. Many other students look up to Emily. She is a natural leader. Being 100% online has had many challenges this year, but Emily was able to bring the class together by organizing after-school Zooms with her classmates. Emily is a great role model and a wonderful example of what it means to be Ranger Strong. We are so proud of her. I think it is worth mentioning that both of these students learn exclusively online, which of course is a tremendous challenge. And we know that they have done their work this year. We know that they have persevered and we know that they have learned and grown despite all of these challenges. So congratulations again to our students of the month. I would next like to announce Mrs. Lee Armbruster for grades five through eight here at the Academic Center. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm happy to be here. We have two students that were nominated by our Related Arts Department at the Academic Center this month. And we're gonna start tonight, and I saw both of them are here with Cole Allison. Cole, the Related Arts Department ch chose Cole Al Allison for his outstanding academic performance, his effort in the classroom, and for being Ranger Strong. Cole has a contagious smile and a great sense of humor. Cole's positive personality and kind words towards others help boost the morale of his class and his classmates. Not only does Cole excel in the classroom, but he is a great athlete as well. We are all looking forward to having Cole again in class. Congratulations, Cole. And I do have to say, when I, I called Cole down last week to tell him that he was student of the month and, and he wasn't sure why he was called down and he was so nervous and so afraid. So I, again, I apologize for that, Cole, for scaring you and scaring your family when we called. We, it was great though. We are very, very proud of you. And our second student of the month is Rosie Fontecchio. Rosie is in eighth grade. She is a student that is always willing to work with others in a positive way. She is enthusiastic and a classroom leader who models respect. Rosie is involved in our mentoring program, which is called Strong Foundations. She plays soccer and is part of the morning announcement team. We look forward to seeing Rosie reach her goals as a student, student athlete, and a mentor. Rosie is truly Ranger, Ranger Strong and will be a huge success as she moves on to the high school next year. Congratulations, Rosie. And now I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Durkin at the Ranger High Tech Academy. Let's double check to make sure she is a co-host here. Thank you. Now I'm unmuted. Perfect. Um, sorry, I was having technical difficulties there. Um, so I am very excited to be here tonight and to recognize two of our outstanding third graders. And the first um, learner that I'd like to recognize is Jack Bluso. And Jack was nominated by his coaches, uh, Coach Samuelson and Coach Simon. And this is what they had to say about Jack. 
Jack is a kind and hardworking learner. He works hard to always make sure his classmates feel supported and understood during group work time. He never gives up and always works towards his goals until he meets them. He, um, he is a hard worker and shows a love of learning every day. Way to go, Jack. And I did see Jack today. So good job, Jack. Very proud of you. Um, and then our next learner is Brooklyn Lapping. And this is what Coach Samison and Coach Simon had to say about Brooklyn. Brooklyn is an all virtual learner this year. She is an advocate for her education. Brooklyn asks questions and participates in all lessons. She works hard on every activity and extends her learning whenever she can. Brooklyn is a role model. Keep up the awesome work. I'm very proud of both of you and um, I am very excited that you were our learners of the month. So congratulations. Now I would like to um, turn it over to Mr. Zendry, principal of our high school. Good evening. Our first student of the month from North Ridgeville High School is May May Schwarm. She was nominated by Mrs. Weber and Mrs. Weber wrote, May May is an online only student. I have had her freshman year and now have her again as a senior. This year, I have really been provided the opportunity to see her growth. She emails me often with questions and has worked very hard to find success. I know that she is always doing her homework and when I provide feedback assign on assignments, she will often reply, thank you, I understand where I went wrong and I will try harder next time. <laughs> she now finds the challenge of math to be enjoyable and fun and her growth personally and academically are definitely ones to be recognized. At school, she participates in Track Conservation Club and has received many art awards. Her favorite subjects, as you could guess, are, envir are environmental science and art. And next year, she plans to attend Lorain County Community College, but she's undecided on what she would like to study. Congratulations, May May. Our second student of the month is Lizzie Schauer. Lizzie was nominated by Mrs. Fox. Mrs. Fox wrote, Lizzie is in our online geometry class and she is an outstanding student. She has performed extremely well academically despite all of the challenges. One of the things we enjoy most about her is her ability to engage with her classmates, even in an online format. She will initiate conversations with the class and specific students. We start class with the question of the day and she always participates and even comments on other classmates' responses. She is always so positive and encouraging to her classmates and, and her teachers. Lizzie is such a pleasure to have in class and she brings so much needed energy and positivity to our virtual classroom. Because of COVID, she hasn't, Lizzie hasn't been able to participate in a whole lot of activities this year, but she told me she's taken advantage of this time to really take up baking and making things from scratch. Um, thankfully, she has not brought anything in for me. Um, but she's learned a lot and has gotten really good at baking. Um, her favorite subject in school is history. And she told me her 91 year old grandfather served in Korea and she loves talking to him about his experiences. Although she's not positive of her plans when she grows up, Lizzie was considering something in the forensic science area. Congratulations, Lizzie. That was certainly one outstanding group of students and students, we are all so proud of you and your accomplishments. And now I would like to turn it over to Mr. Keith Ahern, Assistant Superintendent, to recognize two very special staff members of the month. Mr. Ahern. Thank you, Ms. Ramsey Casario. So each month, one certified and one support staff member, member is selected for the positive impact that they make in the district. Their selection is based on staff input and their belief about why a nominee is deserving of this recognition. I am proud to announce the March staff members of the month are Nicole Roth and Rita Reitnick. On August 20th, 2002, Nicole Roth was hired as a guidance counselor, a school counselor, and worked at both Wilcox Elementary and at the middle school, mentoring sixth graders. During the 2000-2009 school year, Ms. Roth worked three days a week at Wilcox Elementary. When the Academic Center opened in 2017-18, Ms. Roth continued to work as a school counselor for the 5-8 building. Ms. Roth is very active in our schools and in the community. Ms. Roth has done a great job 
Organizing Kindness Week at the Academic Center, and the Community Care Annual Fundraiser, which gives back to students in the district. She's been a student council advisor and instrumental in the Ranger Strong Initiative. Ms. Roth has put countless hours into coordinating Ranger Strong activities in school and throughout the city. She's coordinated the Pizza Bake Off, Soup for the Spirit for Community Care, and has supported so many children. One of her nominators stated, Nicole is undoubtedly deserving of being named the NRCS Staff Member of the Month. She is passionate and puts her heart and soul into everything she does. She works tirelessly for the great, greater good, and she always puts the needs of students above everything else. Most noteworthy, Nicole does all of this without needing or wanting recognition. Congratulations to Ms. Roth for being named the March Certified Staff Member of the Month. Next, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Rita Reitnick. She was hired in February of 2002 as a support staff substitute. Rita worked at Liberty as a crossing guard and became an instructional aide at the middle school in February of 2005. Ms. Reitnick became a personal aide for a special education student for the 2007-2008 school year and remained with that student until she moved to the high school and graduated from North Ridgeville High School. Rita was then assigned as an instructional aide at Liberty until the academic so center opened in 2017 when she moved to NRC, NRC, NRAC 3-4 building where she is currently working. Mrs. Reitnick received numerous nominations stating that she's an exceptional aide who consistently goes above and beyond to help her students and coworkers. One of her nominators stated, Rita never hesitated when she found out her partner teacher needed to be off and she immediately offered to coordinate schedules, resources, services, and everything else the substitute needed to ensure that the students did not miss instruction or assistance during this teacher's absence. Because of Ms. Reitnick's dedication to her students, which she has shown all year, she ensured that they continued to get the best educational experience possible despite their regular teacher's absence. Another nominator wrote, Rita provides extra support to countless general education teachers and the entire staff. Rita is always professional and conducts herself in a way that makes others' jobs easier. The students respond so well to Rita. They love getting one-on-one -on -one help and small group guidance from her. Rita is able to complete a task and offer support for teachers without even being asked or given a directive. Her work ethic is astounding, and I don't know how we would get through the day without her. Congratulations to Ms. Rita Reitnick for being recognized as the March Support Staff Member of the Month. Thank you very much and congratulations to both of them for this honor and recognition. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hearn. Uh, congratulations to Mrs. Roth and Ms. Reitnick. We are uh, so very fortunate to have staff members like you in our district um, who do truly go above and beyond to take care of our students and our staff. Um, so thank you for all that you do. And that concludes the superintendent's report. Thank you very much. And again, congratulations to all our students of the month as well as our staff. Um, outstanding. Okay. And now we have a brief report from Mrs. Ann Annie Hostetler, um, who runs Ranger Academy. She is our coordinator of alternative education. And Annie, you will be free to share your screen. Great. Thank you. All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk about um, alternative education. Uh, the interesting, I can't help but think about being here a year ago um, in March, uh, presenting about Ranger Academy and thinking uh, what a definition alternative education means for all of us, because it feels funny just to talk about Ranger Academy when every one of our students has uh, been through an alternative setting this year. So I do want to touch on some of those um, things this year, but I will start with uh, Ranger Academy. You know, we are still a traditional, um, an alternative to our traditional classroom experience. We are able to offer um, an AM and a PM program to both hybrid and remote students this year. We are able to service, um, we have 34 students currently in our full-time program, which um, means that they are either in our morning or afternoon program taking nearly all of their classes um, in Ranger Academy. 
We also have uh, nearly 50 students taking an individual period of Ranger Academy, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, our students meet with um, meet in person on Wednesdays or online on Thursdays, and then they check in with staff another two times a week on Zoom this week, or I'm sorry, this year. So uh, we have math tutoring available and English tutoring available for our students uh, during the week as well. They complete all of their coursework online. Um, and we make sure that our staff is communicating with parents at least once a week um, to make sure that our students are meeting their graduation goals. Uh, in addition, this year, we have been able to move our partnership with Goodwill to an all online uh, setting. This has given our students an opportunity uh, to enhance their soft skills and also their job readiness skills. Um, even though we can't meet in person, we are able to still offer that program to our students this year. Uh, we also have worked with a number of students and families that have moved to an all online setting and we're able to offer additional coursework and electives uh, through Ranger Academy to those families. There was also a need to offer physical science and Spanish to our eighth grade students. Uh, we currently had um, our Ranger staff was, a, uh, was able to get uh, 25 eighth grade students through a full credit of physical science. And we are currently working with 42 seventh and eighth grade students in our Spanish one um, course. So that's been an excellent um, addition you know, to our program. And then we've also been able to use APEX in our online setting to help teachers offer remediation and additional support and instruction practice um, targeted for students that have struggled uh, this year in our setting. Um, we know that our alternative setting uh, this year cannot replace uh, the benefits of being in class five days a week um, with students and in front of teachers, but I try to look at the positive of um, every um, experience that comes our way. And I think this past year has um, really offered our staff and our students um, some real learning opportunities. And I just wanna highlight those. Um, it's so important that our students are learning, you know, professional electronic communication. They will need that skill certainly when they leave. Uh, the technology and presentation and collaborative tools that we've been able to add um, and learn during this past year will be something that we certainly use in the future with our students, even when they're back in person. Um, our students have been able to work and practice more self-paced and self-directed coursework, which is certainly a good skill that they will need uh, for their post-secondary plans. Um, as we've talked about before, even before the pandemic, you know, online learning is more and more popular for schools, for employers, for colleges. And it's also something that our students had struggled with uh, even before uh, the pandemic. And so it's good practice for our students to learn these skills of taking an online class or training uh, in an online setting. And then also, um, we've been very fortunate in the North Ridgeville City Schools because we already had an alternative program in place like Ranger Academy. It has really allowed us to easily um, remain flexible to differentiate the needs, uh, the services, and then uh, to meet the needs of all of our families and our students this year. Just like I highlighted before of how many different students um, and ages are, are utilizing the program. I also just wanted to touch base very quickly on some of the other alternative settings that we have uh, for our high school students. Uh, we have a number of students that attend the Lorraine County Joint Vocational School. Our first group of Ranger High Tech Academy uh, students will be entering 11th grade next year already. And we have a number of students that take uh, advantage of our College Credit Plus programs. You know, we currently have 137 students at the JVS. Um, RHTA, uh, we have 16 ninth grade students um, enrolled in our high tech academy and 13 students in our 10th grade program. We have 204 high school students that have already earned college credit plus credit at some point in high school, including 93 seniors that will graduate with college credit plus credit, which is nearly a third of our class. And this fall semester alone, the high school students um, earned 788 credit hours, um, which we would have an additional um, number of credit hours that our seventh and eighth graders have earned as well. I wanted to highlight some of the programs 
that our students are, are taking at the JBS. The ninth and 10th grade program is really focused on readiness and exploration with the hopes that our students uh, then pick a more specific program uh, for their 11th and 12th grade years. Um, currently, our juniors and seniors most highly enrolled programs at the JBS are cosmetology, the heating and air conditioning uh, program, as well as public safety. We also have a number of students in our in the allied health sciences and the sports health and fitness technology programs as well. And then lastly, what's in store for Ranger Academy and um, alternative education for the North Ridgeville City Schools. I want the program to remain a flexible um, individualized program to assist students in meeting their graduation goals. We want to continue to form partnerships with local businesses to get our students into a work environment. Um, also to develop programs for students to earn industry credentials um, here at North Ridgeville High School, as well as at RHTA and the JBS. And then next year, looking forward to reinstating some of the things that we had started last year with visits to local colleges, trade schools, businesses, um, bringing in those partners uh, as guest speakers to facilitate um, post-secondary plans for our students. So again, thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you, Mr. Todd Settler. Thank you. Why does it help? All right, there's no announcements this evening. So now is the time for hearing of the public. This is an opportunity for members of the public to address the Board of Education regarding items of interest. Questions you may have and or any requested follow-up information will be directed to the most appropriate administrator and follow-up will occur after the board meeting. If you have comments for the Board of Education, please use the raise your hand function and provide your name and address when called upon. Your comments are limited to three minutes with a total of 30 minutes that are allowed for this portion of the board meeting. For further guidance on public participation, please reference board policy 0169.1. If you have any questions, we will note them. And again, the most appropriate person to answer those questions will get back to you in a reasonable time frame. So as we're looking for people who are trying to raise your hand, you can do that by hitting the participant button and you might have, you should have an option to use a raise hand. There's also a yes or a no option. You can also click on, which would also indicate that someone would like to address the board. Can I can I do an announcement? I did have yeah, I apologize. No, no problem. Okay. Um, I had two committee reports. The Parks and Recreation Committee um, met and we are applying for a nature works grant for a new playground at South Central Park. Um, the applications are due in June, so I'll keep you updated on that. Um, we are working on some projects of uh, some the trail extension centers, um, um, uh, restaurant restroom project at Shady Drive and working on a pedestrian bridge at Frontier Park and some fencing at the soccer complex. Um, our programs are running, but they're not at a full capacity. We hope that as things start to get back up, um, participation will increase. So, and then I also had a ranger, our last ranger council meeting occurred this uh, month. Um, and the schools are doing wonderful things. Um, they are all working on um, testing and making sure that our students are meeting benchmarks. Um, all of the program or all of the schools were talking about um, all of the ways that they have managed with the pandemic and having parties over Zoom and all of the challenges that, that, that they have um, met. They're, they're doing amazing work um, in, in our schools. The reading intervention is happening. Um, they're doing um, 
focusing on how to how to be stronger and, and focusing on Ranger Strong, which is which is really great. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that that was it. They're really excited um, to have a normal year because of the pandemic. They were very limited in what they were doing, but um, they principal's report was really great with all of the wonderful things that our teachers and staff were able to do in spite of the pandemic. Thank you for that. Thanks. All right, stand up. I did not see anybody with the raise hand function. Um, so I All right. seeing continue. none then, we will go ahead and move on to the consent agenda. <clears throat> it is recommended that the Board of Education approve the consent agenda resolution as presented. Mm -hmm. Second. Oh. Moved by Mr. Mira, second by Ms. McCarthy. Is there any discussion this evening? Roll call, please. Mrs. Mira? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Yetzi? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. All right, we'll move on to the finance audit report. There is one item for consideration under the finance audit report. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the financial reports for February. I motion to approve the finance audit items in one reading. Second. Second. Move by myself, second by Ms. McCarthy. Is there any discussion? Sorry, Ms. Axon. You're out of the way. <laughs> no discussion. Roll call, please. Mr. Vaca? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Yancey? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Okay, we'll move on to human resources report. Ms. Saxon? Yes, we have several items to consider under the human resources report. Six special project supplementals, four summer school coordinator and assistant coordinator appointments, one support staff appointment, two unpaid volunteer recognitions, <clears throat> one certified staff adjustment, one certified staff leave of absence, one support staff leave of absence, one certified staff resignation. I move to approve the human resources items in one reading. Second. I'm a Saxon, second by Ms. McCarthy. Is there any discussion? Roll call. I have one question. Um, and this is about the resignation. Is that a full time position or is that a the certified staff resignation? Um, yes, it is a full time position. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, roll call, please. Mrs. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Yetzi? Yes. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. All right. Um, as we wrap up this meeting this evening, I would just like to share once again the amazing job our staff and our administration has done through this pandemic. Uh, there's never been a more trying time for all of us as families and community and the staff and administrators have been nothing short of, like I said, amazing. Working through this, navigating uncharted waters, always keeping the kids' best interest at hand. We know it's been a trying time for our parents and our families. And I know not all of our decisions have always been the decision that you had hoped for, but please understand our commitment has been unwavering in our commitment to these kids and to this community. And it has been done with grace and professionalism. And I couldn't be more proud of North Ridgeville City Schools through this. And quite frankly, I couldn't be more proud of our parents in this community. Um, you've given us the benefit of the doubt. You've given us the benefit of the doubt in regards to we've done the best we can with little to no guidance. And we will continue to stand by your children and we will continue to look at what's in their best interest. And we will continue to work diligently to get any and all students back up to speed when we reach the end of this pandemic. And that commitment is unwavering and will never change. So thank you to our staff, thank you to our administrators, and thank you to our parents and community. We could not have got through this without every one of us being on the same team throughout this entire pandemic in this polarizing time in our country. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It is recommended that the Board of Education enter executive session to discuss employment of a public official. There is no action to follow. No. 
Second. Moved by Ms. Tamara, second by Ms. Yetzi. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamara? Yes. Mrs. Yetzi? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your evening. We're good. Uh, we're going to resume this public session at 716. Recommended that the Board of Education adjourn this regular meeting. Move. Second. Moved by Ms. Tamira, second by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, please. Mrs. Tamira? Yes. Mrs. McCarthy? Yes. Mrs. Yetzi? Yes. Mrs. Saxon? Yes. Mr. Vaca? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.